um, in, your, you, in your book you speak about perfectionism and you state that to make legal transformation successful, one needs to break processes and sometimes rebuild from the ground up. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. So um, I think there might be a myth out there that legal tech kind of fixes all your problems um, and it's certainly an incredible enabler. But um, when, particularly when you're thinking about automating a process or automating an agreement, um, it may be that you kind of have to map it out and look at it really critically and say, can, can we do this a better way? Can we standardise? Can we standardise even further? Um, and so, you know, that requires having, you know, a robust conversation potentially as a team, but also having a robust conversation with your stakeholders as you take them on the journey through uh, to how do we make uh, that particular task or that particular process more efficient. So, you know, kind of automation rule 101 is you don't automate an unclear or a non-existent process. So legal tech is not going to miraculously come in and create an efficient process for you. You do have to prepare and plan and get that ready. So it may be that, you know, you do cut out steps or you do cut out clauses and agreements that are nice to have in a Word document, in a template, um, but are kind of unnecessary for the end user. Um, you know, when you're looking at the end game. So it's messy. Um, it does take effort. Um, it's not, tech isn't flawless or perfect. And as I said, it's not, you know, it's not going to solve all your problems. Um, it's certainly a journey, uh, but I think it's a really rewarding one. And it teaches you a lot actually about how you're delivering the service and how you're practicing law or how you're uh, working that template. Um, so it definitely is an iterative process and you need to have the patience for that. You need to think about it being an evolution. So there might be a version one and then a version two and a version three and that's okay. In your book you mentioned a quote or I think you said something along the lines. Um, I'm curious how many people have said, I'm not trying to be perfect, I'm just trying to get it right. Yes. Um, I do talk about that because I think um, as lawyers, we are, you know, it's this ingrained uh, perfectionism that we have. And um, I'm certainly not saying uh, be a lesser lawyer, um, but in turn, because technology is constantly evolving, um, if you kind of wait for it to be perfect, um, you'll never embrace it. Uh, so that's why kind of the mantra for that chapter is choose progress over perfection.